So my mom came yesterday and she gave Grayson a new book along with a whole new wardrobe, which I will show you guys what she got him later. But she got him this cute little Elmo book and it came with a music player. Do you want to open? And it came with these different discs and they have different songs on them. Just like little nursery songs and they have like Sesame Street songs as well. And it's super cute. You just put it in here, you close it, and then you play it. It's playing Rubber Ducky right now. You can carry it wherever you want. And you can change the song. You just push the button. And then the book has all the lyrics to all the songs. And it tells you like which, which song to play. It's really cute. Gray really just likes opening and closing it. But it is still... Really cute, and he loves Elmo. He loves Sesame Street. Huh. We just got back from a play date. We went to an open gym. It was at this church um, up um, like 20 minutes away from us, so it was a little bit of a drive, but they have, this church just puts on a free um, open gym every Tuesday, and any kids can come as long as they're five and under and they give free snacks, and yeah, it's just really fun. You just play with free toys. So I recorded some of that. I will input that here. Hi, Cam. Hi, my Gray. You in the bucket? Turn it around. Grayson had a good time. There were a lot of kids, but not too many. Um, they had ball pits that he loved playing in. They had these little seesaw things, which he liked. They had little cars you could play with. They had a cute little slide. So it was really fun. It was good to just get out of the house because Usually we just only go to um, story time at the library and that is, is, you know, it's just the same thing every week. So it's nice to go to something different, play with different toys. You can open it here. You push this button, remember? Open. Yep, and then you put the disc in there. Good job. Good, now push the button. Good. Good job. So yeah, it was super fun. Um, one of the moms in my mom's group went, so we caught up and she um, hadn't known that I was pregnant and we're friends on Facebook, so she saw, so we were talking about that. And yeah, it was really fun to just talk to a human and that was really fun. So yeah, we had a good time. We just stayed for like an hour and now we're back. I just fed Gray lunch. We're listening to music and then we're gonna go and I'm gonna put him down for a nap. I want to show you guys, which I'll show you once we go upstairs. We actually had a little fiasco yesterday with Grayson. He figured out how to get out of his crib. He was tall enough that he could go out the side. He would just lift one leg and go over. And we had no idea what to do. We tried turning the crib around. That didn't matter because he went out the sides. We tried 
blocking, like putting stuff up on the side of the crib, that didn't work. And we just kept trying to go back in and put him in there. And every time we closed the door, he would just get right back out. So I was not ready to get rid of the crib yet. So we just took the spring out from the bottom that the mattress rested on. And now we just have the mattress on the floor. He is not tall enough now to get out of the crib, but I'm sure, you know, eventually he's going to get taller and he'll be able to get out. And once that happens, there's there's nothing we can do after that. After that, he's going to have to go to a big boy bed. So it's just crazy because it happened so fast. I just cannot believe we're at that stage. So, the night moon. You saying the night boat? The ocean. The night ocean. The night water. So yeah, that was crazy, but we handled that yesterday. So when we go upstairs, I will show you what his bed looks like now. Okay, so this is how Grayson's crib looks now. As you can see, we have put the crib... <laughs> the crib is on the floor now. The spring is actually in his closet. We're just going to keep it in there because when the new baby comes, we're going to have to put the spring back in. But for now, he is on the very bottom. It looks so low now, and he is definitely way too short. He has two blankies in here. I still don't do a pillow for him. But... And that was Grayson counting. Good job! So yeah, this is our new situation until he grows out of this one and then we're in trouble yeah. right but yeah so this works for now nothing really has changed other than that Grayson was super mad when we lowered the crib because he was so used to be able to get out whenever he wanted to and now he was much lower so we could see him on the camera he kept trying to lift his leg up to get out of the crib, but he just could not do it. And so he did get very frustrated, but he has adjusted and he is fine with it now. So that's what we're doing until further notice. <laughs> okay, so I wanted to show you guys real quick this little clothing haul that my mom did for me. So Carter's was having a sale out of the blue. They sent my mom an email because she gets emails from them because she likes to buy gray clothes, which I'm not complaining. And they were having like a clearance sale. And so all of these shirts and outfits were like heavily clearanced. And they, a lot of them were like $2, like very, very cheap. So this is all 3T clothes. So obviously Gray can't get in them now, but they will be perfect when he gets a little bigger. So we have some cute like some checkered shirts, which I think look adorable on him. There's just this um, football t-shirt, which I think will look super cute next football season. Yeah, there's this, um, it's a little collar t-shirt and it has uh, monsters on it. I think that's adorable. Um, there's, uh, she got more pants, some black pants, some gray pants. Gray's kind of messing up my clothes, but um, there's this, like, these have, like, dogs on them, and it's paired with this just blue shirt, which is super cute. Um, <laughs> Gray likes them a lot. <laughs> there's this cute little pajama set. It's got tigers on it, and the shirt says, hear me snore, which is adorable. Um, this I thought was super cute. It's this little like plaid, buffalo pet plaid you. shirt with jeans. And then this is a little dinosaur sweatshirt, which Daddy. is super cute. And then Daddy. on top of all that, dinosaur. is that a dinosaur? Wow. And then on top wow. of all this, Patagonia wow. was having wow. their sale. I guess every year they have a sale. I don't know if it's their clearance. They clearance their stuff or they just put it on discount I'm not quite sure but she got gray this really warm jacket from Patagonia and then these super soft um, blue pants so this is so awesome because I barely have any 3t clothes uh, gray is getting taller obviously you saw we had to lower the crib so he's gonna quickly grow out of his 2t he's already basically too big for his 18 month outfits I'm just still putting him in it because I refuse to acknowledge that he's big enough yet. Yeah, he's gonna get into these sooner rather than later. Um, 
I, it does this, like, how does sizing work? Like, let me know what your experience has been, but it seems like he's already been, he's been into 2T pajamas since he was, like, 18 months old, and he's can already fit into a lot of 2T outfits and 2T pajamas, so it's, like, even though 3T is supposed to be three years, do kids get into 3T when they're only two? Like, I don't understand how that works, but I guess I just... Once I see that he's getting too big, I just switch him out. I have to go and clean all this up. Oh, it's a little blurry. Clean all this up, put it back in his closet. Gray is going to observe. Felix is also... Felix is in my trash pile. Felix! What do you think? Yeah, so I got to clean all this up. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an update. Clothing haul, new bed situation for Gray. That's what's going on. Um, I think that might be it for this vlog. If I have anything else, I'll include it in the end. But other than that, I think we're going to just close it out. We have to go to the grocery store, and then Anthony will be home, and then the day will be done. So, um, yeah. Thank you for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. Um, my next video will probably be my 12-week uh, pregnancy update and I'll have all the details from my most recent doctor's appointment with new pictures of baby number two. So you're not going to want to miss it. Make sure you subscribe. Come back to our channel for the next video. We'll see you guys later. Bye!